Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Danny Jess and welcome back to Day Art Survival video. Today we will talk about caviar and yeah, this is pretty much gonna be a video roasting about caviar and how useless it is. Uh, like for real though, it is like one of the <laughs> most useless item I would say. Uh, but kind of not really, it's kind of nice but I feel like it's kind of useless in the term that it's not really used for anything else and that's the problem so yeah let's actually dissect caviar in this video uh first we talk about caviar itself what is caviar so caviar is pretty much um, an egg uh fish egg uh, or fish roux i guess or just frog egg in this case because uh, in this game uh the way you get caviar is by uh this one this toad over here not frog it's a toad pretty much um if you hunt toad in the radioactive swamp you will get this right radioactive toad carcass and as you can see it will drop caviar i do have butcher three meaning that yeah this one is pretty much in uh Butcher 3 as well, it will give 6 to 10, meaning that on average it will give about 8 caviar. And yeah, um, 8 for every toad, meaning that if you butcher all these 5, you will get 40. And then, as you can see, I do have with me almost 2000, 2400 pretty much. And yeah, um, what's good about this though is that um, it kind of has like a long expiration time but then again it, it's great but it's also not great at the same time because um okay so the problem is here um if you get some of this it is fine you use it to eat it is fine but once you hunt a lot of toad and then you cut yourself a lot of caviar and it's just gonna stack up the numbers just keep increasing and you cannot really do anything about it as well apart from eating and also crafting which we'll also talk about uh, after this as well so yeah uh, again let's go back to the caviar itself the weight of all item is 24 kilograms meaning that uh, one caviar weighs about 10 grams then yeah i think so uh, because 2400 times 10 that's 24,000 grams which is 24 kilogram so yeah pretty much one will weigh about 10 grams um it gives 15 foot 10 water 8 energy and minus 3 radiation yeah like i said this is actually great uh for a new player However, I feel like eventually your food power will get increased. Like you eat this um, seven times and then you already have maxed food in this case because food is originally at 100. So yeah, 15 times seven, that's already 105 and that's already overflowing your food stat uh, or stat, I mean your, your food power, meaning that you cannot eat any more of this. However, like I said, if you hunt a lot of toad then you will eventually build up this number like it will just gonna keep increasing uh like this is five you got 40 meaning that like let's say you hunt like 50 <laughs> you will get 400 and that's already too much and yeah um you know like uh eventually you cannot really eat this anymore uh also let's actually take a look at the fresh uh caviar i would say just to see how long it will expire uh, and i think that will be a problem in its own and i will explain why after this as well um okay so let's go here uh okay we got 36 there it should be 40 but we only got 36 so it was slightly below average which is fine because i don't really need any of this so yeah then so be it um okay this will remain fresh for seven days and on or inside i mean inside terem let's actually grab that to terem over here uh let's drop um this one will remain fresh for two years that's actually a long time and yes i will actually say that that's actually bad because uh seven days uh two years in terem meaning that yeah like it will pretty much will sit there and again the number will increase because you know you don't eat it too much but it just keep coming uh, every now and then so 
you will eventually build up the number because it also has a long time until it expires uh, meaning that uh, yeah it will take a long time and it will just gonna build up in your base pretty much let's go back here again um, so that's one way to get that with this which is from the toad and then the next one the the other way is from fishing apparently so if you fish you seeing uh, at least this one the sturdy or this one the the great fishing rod from the Halloween uh, not Halloween from the Christmas event uh, I think you will eventually get some um, of that as well yeah like this one we just talk about that and it just appears you got two of them uh, again like you don't really eat those and it will eventually build up the number and it's just gonna be a waste in my opinion um, so yeah it's not really useless don't get me wrong it's still useful to an extent but the the usefulness drops like real hard as the 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 amount of the caviar that you have increased so yeah it's pretty much like um what is it like diminishing return or something what's that term uh, like you have too many it it becomes less valuable and yeah it's pretty much like a waste so yeah uh, that's the problem um okay so that's the second way now um what is the purpose of this well as you can see it's just for it you can eat this i'm not hungry okay uh, and then you can also make this caviar sandwich which as you can see this one gives 15 10 8 and 3 well this one gives 20 uh 20 foot 5 water uh instead of 10 which is actually great because uh it means that you can um i don't know like well maybe that's bad actually uh yeah whatever uh, and then uh energy is 10 uh okay instead of 8 which is an increase by 2 uh, and then you also reduce radiation by minus 5 instead of minus 3. Also, as you can see, you will need 5 of this caviar and then you will need 1 bread and 1 salt and you can get yourself 5 caviar sandwich. So, pretty much 1 caviar becomes 1 caviar sandwich and yeah, let's actually cook this, uh, yeah, like that. And yeah, this one also, it has uh, more time as well and in the... Um, this one i think it will be even crazier uh what's that yeah four years okay that's pretty much like eternal food and yeah like i said again like it's just gonna build up the number and well i guess if you really don't have anything to do with your flour and you just create bread or cook bread then you can craft this and you probably can get like a million of those probably i don't know but yeah uh, quite easily as well because the the time is just like it's too long i would say so yeah which is great don't get me wrong it's great but yeah like uh, like i said the 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 level of usefulness kind of drop as the more stuff the more of those that you have so yeah it's useful if you only have like 10 20 i guess because you eat it and then it's gone so that's pretty much it but if you eat it, like if you get like 20, you eat 3, uh, you still have 17. And then you get another 50. And then you eat like 5, that's still a lot of them. And then you know, just, it just keep increasing. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, so this is another purpose, I guess, or another function uh, or use for caviar. Which you can make into caviar sandwich, which also extend the, um, the time pretty much. Um, now, uh, I will propose some of things that I guess the developers can do with it, like, um, also you guys can also let me know down below as well what you think about what is this supposed to be, so yeah, um, first what I want is that it can be used in some kind of this jar food or food in the jar pretty much and meaning that this will increase or add another one over here, where is it, this one uh, this one is vegetable, right? Uh, and then this one is meat, and then this one is uh, the f uh, fruit. 
Now, uh, it will be interesting if we have another one, but it is for fish and also caviar. So it will require fish, caviar, and then salt probably, and then water. And we can get ourselves like, I don't know, like seafood probably, or I don't know uh, what you want to say that, like fish and yeah, caviar. And then um, that's actually great because it will remove the, uh, the expiration time completely, which is actually great, uh, meaning that you don't have to worry about oh i still have this and this will expire for uh this amount of time meaning that i need to be you know i need to be uh i need to remember this um you know uh, periodically as well because of this so yeah that's pretty much what you need to do so with this uh i feel like it's gonna make you not really care about the expiration time and you can just also store fish like that as well because fish also has like um expiration time here and it's kind of low as well it's only like uh, i believe only three days or something or even two days but yeah um making that into this kind of food is you know i think it will be great actually like i don't know 10 fish and 10 caviar probably and then like five salt um one water and you can get yourself uh i don't know like um seafood probably i i again i don't know the the name is just whatever but yeah uh so that's the first one the second one it's um this one's a little bit weird i forgot why i proposed this oh okay so okay it's kind of the same as the first one so pretty much i kind of wanted to have like some sort of crafting that will remove the expiration time just like we have with salted fish you know we need uh, fresh fish and then we craft that using some salt as well like this one uh, and then we can get ourselves the salted fish that does not have any expiration time also the same goes with salted meat as well that like the minced meat uh, it has expiration time and if you put some salt in it it becomes salted meat and it just removed the expiration time, meaning that it will be an eternal food, like infinite food, I guess, like forever food. It's going to stay there uh, for whatever time, I guess. But yeah, that's actually great, I would say. So maybe like there is something, you know, like they can do with that as well. And, you know, like I said, the solution that I'm asking is that it's going to be like one of these it has fish it has this one as well caviar and then salt and uh, water pretty much and yeah i feel like that will be a great addition um for this one as well like it will give like let's say yeah because this one uh caviar itself has radiation minus radiation meaning that it's pretty much gonna be the same like it will give let's see uh maybe 50 foot 40 water um like 15 energy and then uh minus 10 radiation probably that that's possible um yeah it's kind of the same as pickled vegetable except that it actually does not give uh energy and it gives health instead and you know just the same as the jam but it's not as high energy as jam but also it has the radiation point so yeah and it's you know like um I guess it's lower than stomach because stomach is all about that food and water so yeah I feel like there could be another one that gives yeah pretty much this one like it's kind of balanced as well so yeah it's it can be considered as balanced food I would say um, so yeah um, for this one though uh, caviar sandwich I feel like it should be uh, I guess it's just kind of stay like that it's fine I feel like uh, the bread uh, okay, here's an issue as well. Why would you need this when you can just uh, have uh, bread? And it already gives you this hearty food effect. Meaning that it will, you know, give you food and water uh, per hour, which is actually great. And it also has duration of one and a half days. Well, actually, probably only one day. Uh, I'm not sure. But yeah, it's 36 hours. So yeah, I feel like, um, you know, I feel like bread itself is already useful more useful than caviar sandwich well i can kind of see as well for new players they need stuff like this that they can reduce um radiation points which is always great for them but um i don't know like i feel like yeah but you know like um other than that it it seems like it 
kind of useless so yeah it's useful but again like uh, to a certain uh, limit and beyond that limit it becomes like extremely useless so yeah like this i have this 2400 what am i going to do with this i have no idea i'm just gonna let this rot probably and that's pretty much it and that's a waste like it's wasting food it's always bad especially in this uh radioactive fallout like this i feel like wasting food is probably not gonna be your um you know like uh, an option so yeah i feel like the main character like all the or the npc they probably can have or figure out what to do with this because it's a food so yeah also speaking of npc i feel like it's also great if the npc actually accept that as well so if you go to the buyer uh at the moment i I don't think there's any uh, caviar trade. Yeah, like the caviar, you cannot sell that to the NPC as well. Meaning that it's just gonna be, yeah, like it's just gonna build up there in your base, which is bad, I would say. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it though. Uh, oh no, actually there is another one. Uh, this one is interesting. It's from cooking, uh, meaning that it's just another recipe. Um, I don't really suggest that it's included in the existing recipe because that will uh, increase the complexity I would say and it's just gonna make complicated like for instance uka instead of this there's a fifth ingredient which is uh, caviar I feel like that's gonna be even more difficult that the players don't actually enjoy that so um, it's better to have another food that requires caviar like uh there is actually a lot of them like um okay so let's think about it uh there is actually a dish uh a cold dish actually uh caviar uh and i forgot i think there's like some foie gras as well like yeah it's pretty much like expensive food um cold food as well by the way it's not hot like you don't cook it on the stove top um yeah like um uh, it's just like cold pretty much you serve it as is and yeah that's pretty much it as simple as that pretty much uh like maybe um oh this one's interesting i was about to say sushi but you already have that um uh maybe include that maybe include that caviar here and then have some sort of buff like um reducing resistance or i mean reducing radiation by um x amount per hour like maybe minus five per hour so that you know um it's not resistance don't get me wrong it's not radi radiation resistance unlike this uh strawberry cake it has radiation resistance by two points uh, it's not like that it's pretty much the one that will reduce your radiation points meaning that if you're at the coast that does not have any uh radiation at you know whatsoever you can actually reduce your radiation points like this one 30 um just by you know like walking on the coast and you will you know pass the time and your radiation will reduce because of that uh this one this effect over here i feel like that would be uh, a great actually yeah i like just add caviar over here and put the you know radiation reduction uh for x amount uh, per hour that's actually great actually uh, or like i said just make a new one or actually there's another one there's another recipe that i was kind of curious as well whether or not it's gonna be a new uh recipe which is called olivier salad or salad so uh i don't know what this is actually supposed to be like in real life i never know uh olivier salad Maybe it's like a dish from Russia because, yeah, I, I don't know what this dish is made out of. Uh, maybe they can uh, include that, like make this olivier salad into actually a recipe. And then in one of those, it will require, well, obviously, tangerine because um, this is like Christmas uh, food. Just like the pumpkin, like the pumpkin pie that requires pumpkin, it's from Halloween. Uh, this olivier is probably from Christmas, so yeah, maybe like tangerine um caviar i know it's it <laughs> it, it sounds like um not ap appetizing but yeah uh this buff is actually great though christmas mood uh max food maximum food increased by 100 and then maximum energy increased by 100 sickness and injury duration by minus 25 percent 
Also, as you can see, the duration is 11 days. That's kind of nuts. That's insane. So, yeah, I'm not sure if they will actually make this into recipe. I kind of doubt because this is quite an overpowered food, I would say. Uh, also, the fact that it's it will last for 11 days. That's just crazy. Uh, but, yeah. Uh, but still, like, um, I feel like that caviar probably, I don't know, like, I don't actually know what the food is made out of, so, yeah, so, yeah, the, the, like I said, the, the thing that I probably suggest is just to add another one, or just put that into this sushi, sushi over here, and give some kind of buff, like, reducing, uh, reducing radiation per hour, like, by five, for instance, or, uh, by two or by one so yeah whatever uh, but anyway uh, I think I'll be it though for this one it's caviar like what will you expect what do you expect about this anyway um, let me know down below what you think uh, caviar should be uh, whether or not if there's any use other than just it which you only need few of them and then you know uh, if you're not hungry then it will just gonna build up in your base and then for this one as well like the caviar sandwich i feel like this is okay uh probably the caviar sandwich instead of extending this maybe just completely remove this um i know it sounds weird like i feel like caviar is one of those uh, food that it will actually rot quickly out you know in the open um so yeah uh, i feel like this I don't know, like removing this, will it make it unrealistic or illogical? Uh, I'm not sure, but yeah, I mean, we have this salted fish as well, salted meat, it's not gonna expire, so maybe caviar sandwich, just remove this expiration time, like completely, that's already great enough. Um, so yeah, that's probably like the easiest one, and then, yeah, that's pretty much it. Okay, so let's review again, uh, jar food over here. Um, and then this one, caviar sandwich, having no expiration time, and then after that, um, recipe, new recipe, or already existing recipe, uh, the sushi, because you can, you know, like, if you go to Japan or go to any, uh, Japanese restaurant, you will find, like, sushi with caviar quite, quite, um, commonly i would say so yeah that's pretty much it anyway again let me know down below what you think about this caviar if there's anything useful for this and that's pretty much it also yeah review the last one is that make it sellable to the uh, the npc and that's pretty much it anyway i think that'll be it thank you guys so much for watching this has been the art survival video reviewing caviar uh and how this should be improved because i feel like this is a great food and i feel like this it has so many potential, it has so much potential that I feel like the game is not appreciating enough, uh, but yeah. Uh, anyway, Stash of Stealthy, I will see you again uh, in the next JR video, but until then, see ya!